Taurus, how you doing? Good morning. Uh, we have a new tablecloth, Taurus. Uh, <coughs> accidents happened over on Patreon where I spilled all the water. Um, anyway, so how you doing, Taurus? So we're going to look into the 7th and to the 14th for you. Don't forget you can also watch this as Sagittarian because it would be a 5, so you're really just looking for the placement of 5, really, life path or anything like that. Okay. So let's see. So <laughs> there you are, Taurus, in a relationship more than likely, or already matter, really. So the devil was the first card that came out. So you could be dealing with a Capricorn or a uh, Gemini possible energy. Some of you, it's an extremely toxic marriage that you are. There's a lot of karma between both of you. Um, for some of you, this is, uh, like I said, it's a it's a couple. Um, but it's also, <laughs> sorry, I'm a bit dumbfounded. Uh, I don't know why I'm hearing deaf, dumb and blind. Something to do around the blind leading the blind. Okay. For a lot of you, right, there's there's an actual relationship here, but there's a toxic situation going on with family. Like this is more family kind of related than it is like a toxic marriage for a lot of you. I mean, it really could be. Like I said, if you are married, but undivorced, but kind of like, because I'm picking up that some of you might be um, like lawfully, uh, the name Laura, okay? Um, but like you live with this person and you see them as extremely toxic for you. Now, if you don't see anybody toxic, a person around you <laughs> in this environment sees that this is not a good situation, okay? This is not a good situation for the family, okay? Um, it, there's a lot of codependency. There's a lot of coexisting in this uh, in this energy also for a lot of you. Um, you This person could really be struggling with around their weight or drugs, alcohol, that kind of thing, right? I'm also hearing a gambling addiction, like someone in the family uh, is addicted to gambling, but I'm hearing in the family, I'm not hearing you yourselves. I'm hearing that someone might be... Um, because uh, I'm hearing that there could have been an illness in the family related to like alcohol or something like that. Okay, I'm also hearing Ali, the name Allison or Ali or Al's, Al's, Ray Al's, Ray Al Company. So it's around a taxi, uh, so probably Life Path 7 or a Cancerian could be involved, could be a, a company of tax, okay, taxis, okay, taxi company for a lot of you. So you might work for one or your partner might. Um, there's also a reliant energy is also what I'm hearing, a lion. So there might be a Leo energy here also, which might be a, a, an energy of, of Aquarius, but you've really got to follow me in numerology here, Taurus. Uh, we will get to the messages of what they are. You just have to give me some time to swarm up. Um, there is something going on here around um, like a, 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 a company, a company, right? Now, it's either keeping bad company or it's the company that you work for or the company that you keep is not very good company at the moment. Because I'm hearing that I'm really not very good. I'm not good company at the moment. I've got a lot going on me around alcohol or some kind of addiction or codependency, okay? So, um, like, I'm not a good person to be around. Someone is not is struggling. I might be around a Pisces and not. But I'm also hearing, like, um, like I'm struggling at the moment around... Something like I'm not very good company at the moment. It could be depression or something like that. It might be self-worth because I'm hearing like I'm struggling around my self-worth at the moment. Okay. Which means that the devil could be anything to do with drugs, alcohol. It could even be food. But it could be like I'm really struggling to come out into society at the moment because I really don't feel like I want to be seen by anybody. Okay, so I don't really like people looking at me and I don't like people judging me either. Okay, so I'm also hearing Judd or Dan or Danielle or Danny. Okay, I'm also hearing Ron, Ronald or Ron, uh, Ronald McDonald, something to do around burgers. It could be something to do around food. It could be like McDonald's burgers or it could be food. Like I said, it could be food related. Capricorn could be food related. So uh, I'm also hearing like this is a relation of yours, like the relation of yours it's leading to more like frustration like i feel really frustrated at this time about a family member like they're driving me crazy like but i'm picking up that there might be an illness in the family like an illness in the family a sickness like in sickness and in health so for a lot of you here this is an actual marriage an actual relationship itself okay um and if it isn't, it's a lot to do with family. Like I said, if you're watching for a relationship, but your relationship's okay, then it will be more than likely family here. 
Um, but I definitely keep hearing like there's some kind of like sickness in the family. Now that might be mental health because I'm also hearing like a mental, like mental, mental chicken oriental. But like someone could be eating, eating a lot of chicken, okay? Um, or someone is like a daredevil, the name Darren or Dare, okay? Or Aaron, Aaron, Aaron. But a daredevil, like I'm daring you to do something. I just dare you to do it, okay? So I'm also hearing the chicken cross the road. Something to do around Rhodes Island. Oh, from Rhodes Island, from Island. Or Rhodes Louise, the name Louise, or Louisiana, or Anne, or Pollyanne. You're right, Pollyanne. But like, um, I'm hearing like there's some kind of like obsession here, okay, about roads, okay, about roads. Um, so someone could always be driving, like they're always driving um, about the road. This I'm also hearing road rage as well, road rage. Someone like in a car when they're driving. They get road rage. They get so irate. Is also like, like I get so angry when I'm driving. Okay, that I seem to be driving. Some of you, this is a driver, a driver, like someone that drives for a living. They drive, but they are drive erratically, but also intoxicated. Now, intoxication doesn't mean, or for someone from Utah City, or someone from up north, right? But I'm also hearing like, um, like drives. So they might not drive intoxicated in like I get up in the morning and I go to work because I'm had a drink before I go to work unless this person does. But there's also uh, an intoxication that is carried over from one night to another night. So this person is also like a workaholic, <laughs> right? An alcoholic or workaholic or both, okay? Because I definitely keep hearing a holic, okay? Like alcoholic or workaholic, but also can drive inebriated the day after. Meaning like if someone has a problem around alcohol and drinking at night, in the morning, they're still abbreviate, uh, still uh, intoxicated in the morning. Because I'm also hearing like a breath, like someone can smell it on someone's breath. Okay, that could well be bullshit, <laughs> right? But like, uh, have you been drinking? No, <sighs> right? And they, they have like mints in order to get rid of the smell or the spell, or someone's taking loads of mints to get rid of witchcraft, <laughs> right? But like, um, uh, I'm also hearing a spell of something, okay? A spell. Um, so some of you, like I said, this is someone that gets very irate driving, they get very angry and very aggressive, and sometimes this person doesn't understand or wants to know why someone is avoiding them because i keep hearing like someone in the family is avoiding someone like they're avoiding somebody in the family taurus right and because they are it's kind of like prolonging the inevitable like i'm trying to keep a hold of it capricorn can also be i'm trying to keep to grips of money and like the the rent and bills and a house and stuff like that right and I'm trying to keep a grips of everything and hold everything under a tight ship, okay? So I'm trying to do everything that I can to keep this relationship or marriage going. But also, there is something going on around like a will. I'm also hearing like a will or something to do with around the hierophant of a house, okay? Because it's either in the house or it's out the house, but it's something that is binding this still together which is normally a mortgage or a house. So it binds it together. Now, unless any of you believe in binding spells, I don't. But I ain't going to fight people that want to. But I'm also hearing binding. Like this is a legally binding situation or the name Lee or Leanne or Lisa or anybody beginning with L. Okay, Lucy, Liz. But it's a binding situation of a a house, a home, a job, a mortgage, okay, or the name Morgana or M, Emily, Melissa, Maria, Michael, Julian, Jason, Justin, Jackie, Jasmine, okay, and it's binding it together, Heather, I'm also hearing Haley, or Heather, Mills, Millsy, um, somebody here is taking a, a the co Ken, the co <laughs> Ken, the name Ken, or Kenny, or anybody beginning with K, Kaylee, Casey, K, 
Mm. Okay. The, <laughs> really? I didn't want to say the last K, but I've just said three of them. So you all know what I mean? There's some kind of like discrimination here. <laughs> Taurus can also be very... I know a lot of Tauruses. Taurus. Tauruses can... It depends on what else is in one's chart. But they can also be very discriminating. Secretly <laughs> or outright discriminating. If they find something discriminating, this person finds something to discriminate about. So like public displaying discrimination, which could be racial, the name Rach or Rachel, or like racial discrimination. So it can be like this person is also addicted to talking a lot. This person talks a lot. They could also talk behind people's backs as well as also what I'm hearing like, I'm defacing you by talking to you about your back about you here. Talking smack and shit here. Okay, so they're talking about someone's company or family in a bad light. Okay, which means that it doesn't have to be your family or their family. But I'm hearing that someone is bad mouthing someone like bad manners. They have bad manners or bad attitude. A bad attitude, bad manners, bad. Mama, you've been bad. And this is called Michael, or Julian, Jason, Justin, Jackie, Jasmine, or Jackson. Jackson. There you go, Pucci. There you go. That's what you're watching for, right? Um, so something to do around bad manners, like your manners are not what they used to be. Or the name B, or Beth, Bethel, Ben, Ben, Benji, Benji, Britain, Brittany. Britain, someone could be from Britain. This person could actually be from Britain here. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> but like, uh, from Britain. I'm from Britain. I'm from Britain. Um, so the UK, basically. Um, but for a lot of you, yeah, there seems to be like um, some kind of underlining issue around this, what I keep seeing or hearing, basically from the Hierophant, it's to do with a mortgage and house and home. This is also like a workaholic, like someone, sorry, I keep hearing alcoholic, okay? Somebody that drives inebriated, inebriated, okay? Um, so that might be why there's road rage, because somebody is struggling with addiction. Now, this could be in the family. They're struggling with addiction, okay? And they get, like, irate. They get, like, really angry because of either, one, some kind of medication. It could even be because of, like, narcissism control right here. But, like, um, I'm trying to control my urges. Like, like this could even be around food. Like, I'm really trying to control my urges. Okay. Oh, wow. So, Spurgis. I'm also hearing Aspergis. Someone that could have, like, a, a mental illness of some kind or children that do or Burgess, or Paula, okay, but um, I'm also hearing um, urges, evil urges by uh, My Morning Jacket, any of you ever listen to the band My Morning Jacket, there's a song on there called Evil Urges, in fact, in fact I think that's called the, 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 the CD that I actually really like, well, the album, basically, but Evil Urges, so listen to that, uh, My Morning Jacket, and it's called Evil Urges, Okay. Um, so let's see. Yeah, seventh into the fourteenth. For Taurus, seventh to fourteenth. So there you go. So some of you are Char, Charlotte, Char, Charlotte, Charlotte's Web, also Web, Web, Billy, Bill, Bill's Web, um, Spider's Web, Char, Charlotte. Charlotte's Web. Um, someone's arachnophobia. Someone's got a phobia of spiders here. It's phobia, phobia of spiders. I'm also hearing Phoebe as well. The name Phoebes or Phoebe or something to do with a tattoo artist. It's actually my tattoo artist. Uh, but Phoebe, again. Um, someone's addicted to getting loads of tattoos, okay? Um, but anyway, let's come out to what majority of you probably want to hear. Some of you, this is a, an extremely toxic situation through family. I'm not kidding. Because this is not a six of cups. This is a two of cups. 
So it's like we, we do not unite as a family. We spend majority of our time apart. I don't live with family members or I do, but it's extremely toxic. Okay, extremely toxic because this can be a breakup is, you know, the family are no longer really feeling like their family. Like, I don't feel like that you're my true family member. Okay, some of you are searching for someone that you may not have known to be an actual family member itself. This is a divorced couple also in some uh, aspect of a message for someone that is divorced from a six of cups. Okay, uh, and they are now metaphysically connected to someone that will not accept them. And this is learning to accept the fact of something for oneself. Now, it doesn't have to be you. It could be the other person. Because it could be within the Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, North Node. Okay. But, like, the fact that we don't get on as family. Okay. The fact that my family members are also batshit crazy. Right. But there's also this obsession. Obsession to try and pull this Two of Cups back together. To try and make it, like... Because normally when you get a metaphysical one, it can drive you spiritually insane. Like, you know, or the name Shane or Shaney or Lane or Lanny or Laney. Okay. But um, little Bo Peep, little, what's that? That lives down the lane, lives down Elaine, the name Elaine Page <coughs> or Elaine uh, Page Boy or so. Something about a boy it could be Cam, Cameron. Okay. Something about children. Someone's got an obsession about their children here or grandchildren or grandma or grandchildren this could be a grandmother okay a grandmother or a mother okay and they're obsessed about their grandkids obsessed about their grandchildren okay um hmm. so this two of cups because that's not going to be in an agreement with everybody because someone can have an obsession but that doesn't mean everybody else has to okay so for a lot of you, this two of cups of spiritual is driving you nuts here. Okay. Um, give me one more card for Taurus, please, from the 7th to the 14th. Uh, Cancerian. So there you go. So there's the driving inebriated. That's, <laughs> anybody else want to question my fucking <laughs> spirit? <laughs> Without the tarot? This is someone around you. It could even be a friend or anybody that you know of. That drives intoxicated they drive they drive drunk this is a drunk driving okay so if this person's working working the person can even work for children <laughs> right but they 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 drive inebriated they drive inebriated so this could be anywhere around where you work you may not even know that this person drives inebriated okay they get up in the morning still with alcohol on their breath here so they're driving inebriated um. Mm. <coughs> <coughs> so well that's down to this person to stop that then I mean um, because this is a driving company man this is a taxi service here um, so is this as a taxi driver that, a taxi driver that drives pissed when they're driving I'm also hearing when they drive children <laughs> When they drive children, well, they'll probably drive them up the fucking wall. And be careful you don't want to fucking hit one. <coughs> Here, be careful you don't hit a wall. Just saying. I've hit a wall. Woolly, the name Wool or Woolly? Oh, Laura Woolly. Really? What's going on here, bruv? What's this around you? Laura Woolly. Laura. <laughs> You're right, little. You're right, Ickle fella. <coughs> this isn't you, right? Here. But what's I hearing? Woolly. Because uh, I was thinking of Andrew Woolard, someone that I know. Uh, so it might be Andrew, or Andrea, or Anne, or Annie, or Polly Ann. Well, she's all stoned, Brassa. <laughs> Just talk to her in the chat. <laughs> in the chat. Or Charlotte. But like, um, yeah, Laura. So you probably don't, I don't, I can't remember what star signs you were. I don't think you knew that I was an actual medium here. <laughs> right? <laughs> Not back in Desert Thuzla, right, Laura? But oh, this could be just because it's say this could be Laura. I mean, I've been picking up on the name of Laura for quite some time, but there's a few of you. There's even Laura, 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 right? But there is somebody here. It's going to also be someone that's like smokes a lot of weed, smokes a lot of weed here. Could be causing a lot of problems in a a relationship of someone that's always inebriated. They're never really like, you know, <laughs> you're right. What Earth? What planet are we on today? Oh fuck knows, bruv. Probably Mars. I don't really know. In fact, fuck it, Nick. I don't really care. 
or the name Nicola. <laughs> okay. But like, fuck it, I just don't really care. Because I'm enjoying myself. Woo! <laughs> yeah. Someone can even give somebody a drunk call. And they're like, well, I don't really care. I don't really give a fuck. As long as I'm all right, who cares? <laughs> or the name Kev or Kevin. Right? But like, or Kez, Kerry. But like, uh, for a lot of you, you're just battling. You're still battling an, addi an, an addiction. If you're doing really well within your addiction, okay, you're still battling that, probably, okay, because there's temptation everywhere, right? Um, so keep going. The longer you go, the easier it gets. Trust me, it really does. I used to be a counselor and everything else. The longer that you go, the easier it gets, right? It, it's a bit like when you look at addiction, right, addiction, it's pretty much like... Um, it's pretty much like when you lose a person, like, you know, I've lost my father and my brother and God knows how many people and my nan, loads of people in my life, right? So it's like, um, it's just going to be around death or something like that, right? Someone that's really struggling around, um, what do you call it? Remorse, okay? It's like grieving, okay? But like, um, you know, when you grieve, eventually the longer it goes, the easier it gets. It really does. It, it gets easier. You never really forget people that die, but, or the name Diane, but... You never forget people that die, but it does get easier. Trust me, it really does, right? So addiction is pretty much the same as that. The longer you go, the easier that it gets. It really does get easier because you don't see it anymore. You don't witness it. You don't feel like it. Your brain is... is, is everything is always about the brain taurus. Literally everything is all about the brain. It's about receptors. Do you know how addictive that we are through our brain? It just forms a receptor within our brain to form a cycle and it just replays itself over and over again in our head and we go over it daily. It just triggers everything off. That's why we get triggers. That's why there are triggers out there in the universe because we see it, right? Because our brain is so used to doing the same shit. So when you've been doing it for so fucking long, that takes persistence to break the chain of your head, right? To form another receptor by replacement. Okay, so when you can replace it with something else, right, your brain will start being addicted to doing that. At least you will have forgot about something that of addiction. It's like food, alcohol, smoking, right? It takes quite a while, but after a while, when you've replaced it with something like work addiction, <laughs> okay, and that you're working, you realize, oh shit, I haven't like eaten all day, <laughs> right? Because I've been so busy, I haven't really been thinking about it. Right, so everything is receptors of one's brain, but it all takes replacement. You have to replace one addiction for the other. Don't worry about any fucker that tells you in uh, addiction or AA or anything like that that oh, be careful of like replacing it with something else. Everybody that stops smoking can always put on weight by replacing it with food. Anybody that stops like eating, they replace it by going to the gym and by being accessed by fucking going to the gym. Okay, it's like uh, anorexia or anything like that. Okay, you can get people that are like like I have, which is an addiction around food. Okay, so it's kind of, you know, it's, it's either way, you still have to replace it with something to be obsessed about that because that'll forget you. So this is why through, those, through that knowledge here of all of that for many years, this is where this helps you around your love lives and your twin flame energies. Because replacing it with the past with the future gets you to focus on the future and not the past. Okay, so it relates to everything around you know grieving, around anything else. It focuses you on the future, okay, of a new person and the hope of a new person that pulls you away from the toxic energy of the past. So you find something new, okay, to obsess about. Or about obsession. Everybody's obsessed right here. Um, Taurus. So show me the other person connected to Taurus, please, from the 7th to the 14th. Uh, I'm obsessed about Mano, Jane. I'm obsessed about Jenny, Julian, Jason, Justin, Jackie, Jasmine. There you go, Elijah. Still up in here with the old Scorpio energy. Four. Could be Aries or so, though. Um, man, this is kind of like an obsession. This, <laughs> as When I told you about someone that's obsessed about something, it's because you've also got the devil. So it could be a Capricorn or Gemini. And then mixed with Scorpio. Woo! 
there is a passionate sexual strong relationship here if you are in it if you are in it if this is a toxic family situation someone is obsessed about their children equivocably sass 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 sassy obsessed about children grandchildren right scorpio they'll do it to the ends of the earth they mean death <laughs> right now i will not forget this right i will do this until the ends of the earth so you know this can be like can't breathe right like you just like just release your goddamn grip a little bit and let me breathe right just give me some time okay time just give me some time because the one thing that you steal from anybody is the worst thing that you can ever steal is time right okay where's the time gone okay so get started now right um kickstart i'm also hearing i just need a kickstart some of you your car might break down and you need a jump start or jump leads or the name lee or lisa or leanne but like um i need a jump start so someone's car might break down and they rely on the other person's vehicle um but it can also be where look just give us a little taster because i need a kickstart just give us a bit of a bevy bruv or the name bev or beverly bev flanagan you're watching and all take fucking note here just give us a bit of a just give us a bit of a bevy right just need a bit of a jump start and a bit of a kick just to sort my day out this is a person that has one of those hip flasks and they unscrew the hip flask and they're like is anybody fucking around here bruv like just tip a little bit in there like that and you're like you're like yeah and you're getting on with your coffee don't know mine's just straight up black fucking no chaser bruv <laughs> costa black coffee okay two a day after this two a day after this water all day long all day long tyrone <laughs> coffee someone's fucking tipping it up with their hip flask mm. at work at work anyway so that <laughs> what it's not my fucking life bruv i'm straight black bruv anyway so thanks if any of you want to join patreon in the full access bundle that really helps me out of the channel to be out give everybody everything as well right so only like share comment subscription say thanks say piss off if you want to hit the down just make sure you hit it twice right if you want to hit the likes crackerjack if you want to join patreon you'll get both of these full story how do they think and feel about you how do they think and feel about this situation at hand? But it's kind of like free readings, really. This one, this one, the other bit, okay? And then all of it, really. <laughs> so it's a bit like a McDonald's burger tour. So you just have to work your way through it. It's like got loads of shit all just shoved up in there and you just have to like work your way through it like, you can, okay? Someone could be from Scotland. Okay, anyway, so you can find the link provided below, Taurus. You all know, right? But you can find the link provided below, but it'll only be the full access bundle, okay? All right, guys, thanks very much.